For the longest time, the theory of evolution has been conveyed to us as a scientific fact. From a young age, we were all taught in school that this is how life was created. We were all monkeys at one point, but now we are a civilized species of humans. Although I do like putting bananas in my protein shake, the idea that my ancestors used to be monkeys always seemed a little bit silly to me. However, as I got older, I started to realize that this supposed scientific fact that was unchallengeable actually lacks any sort of logic whatsoever. What's going on guys it's big nick back for another video thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today before we get into today's video if you guys like christian content please give this video a like subscribe to my channel down below if you are new and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video without further ado let's get into it today we are going to expose the spiritual and natural errors in the theory of evolution that have deceived the world not only does it lack logic but its origins are actually satanic did you know that the theory of evolution was actually created by a cult member that worships Lucifer? Charles Darwin, the man that started the evolution theory, actually grew up studying under his grandfather, Erasmus Darwin. Erasmus Darwin had been a Freemason his entire life, initiated into the Time Immemorial Lodge of Canongate Kilwinney, number two of Scotland. However, Erasmus Darwin's ideological beliefs were heavily influenced by a man named Lord Monboddo, who was a famous judge in Scotland during that time. Monboddo actually worshipped demonic Egyptian creatures, and even came to the conclusion that human civilization owes their existence to Egyptian demon kings. Erasmus Darwin also shared the same ideology as Monbato and incorporated this belief in many of his scientific writings. This was passed on to his grandson, Charles Darwin, who pioneered the theory of evolution. The theory of evolution is satanic to its core, considering that it was influenced by a Freemason that worshipped demonic Egyptian creatures. Any belief system that comes from Freemasonry is of the devil, because Manly P. Hall, a 33rd degree Mason, self-admits in his writings called The Lost Keys of Freemasonry that the seething energies of Lucifer are in a Mason's hand. So we can take their word for it that the theory of evolution was written by the devil himself. Evolution goes directly against God's word because it denies the account of creation in the book of Genesis. It also seeks to dehumanize us and strip us of our God-given value, considering that God said in Genesis 1:26 that we have dominion over all the creatures of the earth. Genesis 1.26 says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. Evolution, on the other hand, teaches us a demonic lie that we are in the same ranking as other creatures here on earth. Now that we expose the spiritual flaw in the theory of evolution, we can also now explore the scientific flaw as well. Many people claim that the theory of evolution is only challenged by religious people. While this theory does contradict the biblical account of the creation of the world, a vast majority of non-religious scientists are also speaking up against this illogical belief. Headlines are now showing that over a thousand doctoral scientists from around the world have signed a public statement expressing their skepticism of Darwinian evolution. Let's take a look at this video where many scientists are speaking out against this. I'm skeptical of the claim. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical. Me too, guys. We are skeptical of claims for the ability of random mutations and natural selection to account for the complexity of life. A careful examination of, of the evidence for Darwinian theory should be encouraged. Skeptical. 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 Skeptical of claims for the ability for the ability of random mutations and natural selection to account for the complexity. Complexity. The complexity. The complexity. To account for the complexity of life. Careful examination. 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 Of the evidence for Darwinian theory should be encouraged. Amen. Stephen C. Meyer, a famous scientist, also spoke out how he attended a conference at the world's oldest scientific body, the Royal Society in London, England. He exposed on Joe Rogan's podcast that when he was at this conference, the world's top evolutionary biologists all convened together to share their growing doubts on Darwin's theory of evolution. The reality is, evolution tries to poorly explain the creation without the creator. When you take God out of the equation, all you are left with is confusion and doubt. If scientists put down their pride and just picked up a Bible, they would no longer need conferences where they're scrambling about their theories not having any logic. Jesus Christ is real and the Bible gives us a perfect description of how the world was created and how creatures were created. We were not created from monkeys and although microevolution is real, macroevolution, which is this subject in question, 
is fake and it is a satanic lie. I'm telling you, when you take the Bible out of the equation, life becomes a lot more complicated and you never really get the truth. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you would like me to cover next. If you guys wanna watch my last video, simply click up here. And if you guys wanna subscribe to my channel, simply click up here. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out. Wash from all my sins and now I'm clean. My soul was almost lost, he intervened.